Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 12 of Bang Dream. It's my goal. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, wait. So, as of the timing of this episode coming out last week, our babies are officially going to be in the game on the 16th. I, I mean, I'm excited, and it makes me now want to go back and play JP full-time now. Um, I don't know that, though, but I, I think I'm going to do it, because, bruh, I really like these girls a lot, and seeing their journey from beginning to now really, like, ugh. My heart. And we all know this show is near and dear to my heart, and I've already cried with it several freaking times, and something tells me I might end up crying today, too. Well, sick. Yay. But, yeah, I'm so far excited. I've already seen the cards. And, of course, my best girl, she looks so pretty. Everybody looks pretty. And I'm just really excited to see, like, eventually what their fest cards are going to look like, because that's genuinely when we get to see their personality shine and such because like of course my I think any any Lisa card is my favorite card but I think if I could say one besides Bride Lisa because that's my number one on my English like go to my profile Bride Lisa right there um has to be Fest Lisa and that would have to be I think the first Fest or the other one like it wrong <laughs> That's all I needed. I didn't need to see that. That's it. I wonder who else is going to show up today. You know, I mean, because it would be nice to see my Rosalia babies. Because I feel like everyone else has kind of appeared except Reza Selen, Morphonica, and Rosalia. You so hungry? No, I'm sorry. That's my baby. My baby. One half. Yeah.
too good, okay? No, oh, no, you can't do that. Mm -mm. Like she's passing the torch. Oh my god. Yes, my Kasumi. Uh -huh. That's sweet. Go on. That was good.
It's okay, let her speak, let her speak! No, 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 no! Oh. There you go. No. giving me like last episode vibes even though we only have a bit left. Oh, it's so good. You never would have thought episode one, Woody, would be doing the things that episode 12, Woody, is doing. Like, it's just once again, grow for all of them. Just like, oh, it's too much. Oh, my God. <clears throat>
I got a hug or cry or something. But it was fun, right? I really genuinely think this is going to be the band that, like, for everyone who is watching this show right now, this is going to be the band that everybody who literally is going to be wanting to, like, initially play the game for. If you're not playing for any of the other girls who are in there establishedly, like, initially, you're going to be playing for these girls specifically. Or you're going to be like me where you're like, <laughs> Rosalia, <laughs> and then a little bit of more Panika, a little bit of them, and such and such. <laughs> Cucumbers. Why cu- Oh, what's her face? It's already gone. Oh, no, there she is. You brought these, didn't you? Oh, sorry. Oh. Honey! I know it's not the one that you wanted to hear from, but damn. Now, of course, they're getting ready for to do their group, right? Yep. <laughs> that was so fucking cute, oh my god. Thank you. Mm. Oh, what the fact? So the, you, we got to wear a mask? Yes. <clears throat>
For real, for real. She's really pretty. Now, okay. Once again, this felt like the final episode. But I, I love the fact that, because the funny thing that I found out about her, say you, that's Latina from freaking, uh, what's her face? <clears throat> so once again, I love the fact that Mendity is getting seiyus that I either heard in other animes or seen them in some things or in videos and such like that. Like, once again, good on them. Now, I have heard her band. Um, they are the first, what I like to say, metal-ish band because we've technically gone into more pop rock We've gone into alternative rock, regular rock, uh, techno beats and stuff, especially when you're looking at, like, Raise a Cillin and such. Um, but this is going to be the first, like, what I like to say, heavy metal band for this next group. And such, and honestly, I'm not mad at it. I've heard a couple of songs. They're not that bad. They're really good. But I think the biggest thing a lot of people were kind of peeked about with the song and stuff is that there is no screamo in it i initially wasn't expecting that because of course they still have to make it with in the bandari esque feels and such without going too much they could do it like baby metal in a way um but really i am excited to see what their group is entitled as well i hope that we do kind of get more or less um a series on them that's the biggest thing. Because, yes, putting them in this spinoff with the My Go Girls is smart because, yes, it's like saying, oh, hey, here is one more band on the horizon, very much similar to, similar to D4DJ and how they were, like, slowly but surely getting hints to um, both Unicorn and um, Abyss Mayor, uh, but really more, in my opinion, at first, Unicorn and adding them in the group, I mean, in the anime, and then kind of adding the Abyss Mirror Girls and such. And so we know that potentially when season three does come for D4DJ, that everybody, I think all nine DJ groups will officially be there and such exactly with this. So, I mean, would I like to see a potential season four for Bandari? Yes. Honestly, just to see everybody together. If it's not a season four maybe a movie just you know a big live concert that they're all getting ready for and that they all get to interact with each other and such because you you only really get to see these girls really interact is in the in the game and such and then you're seeing the quote-unquote pre-established relationships that they have and such and the friendships and everything else and you want to still see that in the anime and stuff because you get to see that in d4dj a lot and such and so i think that's really nice so hopefully fingers crossing that does happen in the future but the the three songs are what the two songs two or three songs that my go performed each one was good even better than the previous one i i think for all three i think i have already heard at least one or two of them before um the one where they all started like la 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 and such i'm trying not to actually sing because <laughs> my, my throat's okay but i'm still congested in my nose um that gave me feels immediately to popping party and seeing how it's like once again this started with popping party and kasumi and even as i said kasumi passing that torch to mori is really interesting because it's not i'm not saying like oh mori's now the face and stuff she's just now joined the other girls as the face as a whole because of course when you always go to the title screen it's gonna show the main lead singers of each band group so she's officially going to be added there and such and i'm really excited to just see her interact with everyone and such um i felt like there is something else i wanted to say but i cannot think of it oh my god <laughs> 
but as I said, yeah, definitely a lot of people who initially, whether they already are into Bendity and watch this or people who have not even gotten into Bendity and just said, I'm going to take on a whim and, you know, somebody recommended this, I'm going to watch it. I think a lot of people who really fell in love with these five as much as I did and they're going to play the game or people who were maybe like stands of popping party ask or just any of the other uh band groups they're still going to stand these girls like i feel like me overall as someone who is still a number one rosalia girl like straight up that is my group i love them to death i still stand everyone else and such i will still try to collect almost any other cards of some of my other best girls from the other bands and stuff um but if you look at my profile and such and how many cards i've collected majority of the cards I have gotten, like, Rosalia is freaking high and such, because those, besides Popping Party being there, um, my first and stuff, Rosalia was really there for me during, like, times of good, bad, and everything in between. And so, of course, we're taking groups that are, like, very near and dear and close to our hearts and such. Um, but one thing that I would really, 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 truly want to see with this series... And we're going to go back to the spinoff of this series, which is the um, Bang Dream Aveganis series, which was the male version equivalent of this. We know that that series does not take place in the same timeline as this, because, of course, none of the guys have really talked about, like, Asumi or um, anyone else. From there, and I kind of still wish that they kind of really added them together and had the world collide because it would really be nice to see those guys interact with some of those girls and such and just to, you know, be friendly and stuff. I mean, they do that with Idolmaster. Like, with every, even though Idolmaster Side M is kind of really done, but they still initially add the boys into like the anniversaries when we're celebrating the anniversaries or anything that's like a collab s with them they still add them into it because it's it's still a big group it's everybody from every single series all together all matched up and such and so i would love to see that initially with this series with the boys and such also one last thing so you know how uh, i think it was last week's episode so this is 12 so 11 in 10 or really since the beginning of this we have been talking about you know the situation of pastel palettes and Aya Seiyu you know having to drop the role for both Aya and um what's her face from D4DJ well it was officially confirmed that baby is now feeling better and she's officially coming back to work and that means she's coming back and continuing to voice best girl Aya. I am so happy that she is able to come back and to portray her again. Because once again, as I said, in my opinion, there is no one else that can portray her but her Seiyu. And it's just when you think of Aya, you think of her Seiyu and such. And I can't imagine someone else coming into that role. And I felt that same way Ibuki, that's her name. Um, with Ibuki for D4DJ, but because of the fact is they were so freaking quickly to finding Ibuki a new Seiyu, now with the new girl, like, I, she's still a little similar, um, sounding to her Seiyu, but not really. You can tell the difference. That's the same thing with, um, oh my god, what the heck is her name? What's, uh, what's her face from D4DJ who plays, uh, okay, so Rinku Seiyu who is in Rosalia, uh, no, Rinko Seiyu, Rosalia, who was, who's in Happy, who used to be in Happy Around, Andy for DJ, um, Ray, that's her name, and someone else came in to play her, you can tell that that is not her anymore, and I just still kind of wish she was in it, and I get it, she, she was like, I really just want to be a part of Rosalia, and Rosalia only, and instead of doing, like, kind of two different things, because maybe, at the time, her stuff for both Rosalia and for Happy Around were kind of colliding against each other. So she kind of had to choose. And that is okay. That happens and such. I mean, heck, the girl who plays, um, she's in here. So, uh, the girl who plays Marika, Marika and Mermaid 
she's in this. She plays the girl who's friends with Taki, who was eventually about to be in this new girl group um, with the new band and stuff. And I'm like, girl, how in the world are you going to do both this and Mermaid? Girl, like, I, I don't want you to leave Mermaid. I, like, I feel bad if you would, I would cry if she left Mermaid because I love Mermaid so freaking much. But yeah, I really just hope that, you know, with this final episode, everything is wrapped up in a nice neat little bow that we do get a potential, like, confirming that the new girls are going to get a serious focus on them because it would be nice, especially with the way this episode ended. There's a lot of things they really honestly could do. But of course, we have to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of Bang Dream. It's my goal. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Thursday when I come home from work for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.